Cheers, friends. It's a Friday afternoon and I have my Texas beer, Love Street, to start this video off. Today, we are talking about the culture shocks that I experienced moving to America as a Canadian. Now, my family moved here eight years ago, so I have been visiting for quite a while and I've been kind of easing into the culture, but when I moved here full-time eight months ago, there were still things that were really shocking that I was not expecting. Keep in mind, I came from a big city, Toronto in Canada, and I moved to another big city in the US, Houston. So this is really gonna be geared towards that. I'm not saying that this is everywhere in the US, and everywhere in Canada because obviously I can't speak for everywhere, but I can speak for the places that I have lived. So your experience may be completely different. Do not get mad at me. We can talk about it in the comment section. I'm just speaking from my own experience, okay? All right, let's get started. Everything is bigger here. I don't know if this is a, because I'm in Texas and you know everything is bigger in Texas, but in general, everything is bigger. So portion sizes in restaurants. Um, stores are always bigger. Houses are always bigger. Like everything has a big walk-in closet and double vanities um, and stuff like that. Everything is just so much bigger I find and I'm not really sure why. The service industry here is so good. I mean, everyone is so good at their job here. I'll take a sip of my pop and I already have a server that's filling it up. It's so great. And also I feel like in Canada, people who work in things like fast food um, generally are teenagers who do not want to be there and they make it known that they don't want to be there. Whereas here, those types of people are so enthusiastic and so helpful. And I'm not sure if it's just, they're just peppier in general or their boss is forcing them to be like that. I don't really know what it is, but I just feel like the customer service is faster and way better here. Which kind of also explains when you think of when Americans go to other countries and things are maybe done a little bit different, that kind of stereotype of why Americans are pushy or demanding when it comes to being in restaurants and stuff like that. It's probably just because they're used to the service that's here, which is way better than any other country I've been to. Everything's pretty political here, um, which I try to stay out of because I don't know a lot about politics, especially American politics. Um, I'm not used to having to have an opinion, but here, regardless of what you do or who you are, you have an opinion about something and everybody follows it. So I just stay out of that. Also, everyone is super religious here. This is probably also a Southern thing. Um, of course, there's religious people in Canada as well, but I've just come to learn that there are, the vast majority of people here in Texas are religious to the point that you can't buy liquor um, in the store on a Sunday and um, people take the holidays really seriously. Um, there's just a lot more of that religious stuff going on here. People go all, <laughs> out for celebrations here. It doesn't matter what the holiday or celebration is, if you can celebrate it, they're gonna go all out for it. So Thanksgiving, we get an entire week for it. The 4th of July is insane. Um, prom or anything that has to do with schools, people will go absolutely crazy decorating their houses, like buying all this stuff, having these huge massive parties. I kind of like it. It's sort of charming. And it's like, if you have the opportunity to celebrate, then why not? We all know that there are a lot of um, word differences between Canada and the US. So just like the spelling of things and then the word choices that we use. I knew about these before, but I still had to change my computer over to an American keyboard because there are a lot more than what I thought and I often forget about them. So sometimes I'll say things in class and people will legitimately laugh at me because it's just different. Um, they still get what I mean, of course, but it's just different things that I just had no idea about. There are actually people who dress up as cowboys, like non-ironically, like with the cowboy hat and the cowboy boots and everything, they wear that on a regular basis. Um, definitely a Southern thing, I think. People in America are very direct and honest. So they will tell you their whole entire life story the second that you meet them. <laughs> I actually, as somebody who is also very honest and open, I like this quality about it because I feel like I finally found people that are just like me in that sense. But I can understand why people in other countries may think that some Americans are rude. It's just because they're just open and direct and they say exactly how they feel, which is something that I really like about Americans. I have to drive everywhere, which is something that I'm really not used to. Keep in mind, I do come from Toronto, which is a very walkable city. Um, so the city is built more up, whereas here Houston is built more out. Um, so we do have to drive everywhere, um, which is nice because there are always parking spots for everything. But sometimes I wish I could walk. Obviously there are some places in the US where it's very walkable as well. I just am not living in one. So that's not my experience. Um, but that was a pretty big culture shock to have to accept the fact that if I wanna go somewhere, I gotta get in my car and drive. 
every time. There is a big hierarchy thing here in the United States. I don't know if it's because there are so many more people that everyone's competing or everyone is just super respectful. Like, I don't know what it is, but here everyone gets called ma'am or sir, regardless of what their age is. The amount of times that I've been called ma'am and it has just thrown me off um, by people that are older than me, uh, I don't get it. In Canada, if you call someone ma'am, oftentimes they'll be offended um, because they think that you're calling them old. Um, so I don't think I've ever actually used ma'am or sir before in my life before moving here and now everybody does it. I was on a first name basis with my professors up in Canada. So it's just very different in that sense and that was something that I learned really fast after I called a teacher by their first name and they were not happy about it. <laughs> And that's what I've experienced as a Canadian living in America for the last eight months. Like I said, these are generic things based on my own experience. So please let me know in the comment section um, if you guys are from America or from Canada or have experienced any of these other things. I would love to hear your opinion on it or what's different in other states or other cities would be really cool. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video.